So we've registered a sidebar by adding this code here to our functions.php file. Now, in our admin section, when you log into wp-admin, right after your URL there when your server is running, you get this widgets page where you can now kind of add any kind of widget functionality. And so these are the default widgets. You can kind of display a calendar, display your navigation menu, the categories for your blog. But there are plugins out there and other themes that can utilize this widgets area and give you functionality like live chat or video chat, really almost anything you can think of, any kind of small little functionality that you can include into your sidebar area. So that's the benefit of using these sidebars is you now have a widget area, this custom place for functionality that you can place anywhere in your site. So let's see, how do we show this uh, sidebar now in our actual website on the front end? And the way we can do that, let's just go over to our home page for now and double click it. And then right after the loop, this is the loop, Right after this, but inside of this container div, we'll go right down here and we're going to add some code to display our sidebar. So we'll start with some PHP code and we'll say if is active sidebar and we'll say the name of the sidebar, sidebar one. And then we add this colon over here and close out that PHP tag. And then nested inside of here, we'll say aside. This is an HTML tag called aside. And we'll give it an ID of secondary, a class of sidebar and widget area so that we can target it with our CSS. And then we can also give it a role of complementary. And inside of there, we'll inject some PHP. We'll just say dynamic underscore sidebar. And the sidebar referring to is sidebar one. Use our semicolon there. And then finally, down below here, we'll say, okay, let's close out that if statement. PHP and if. Okay, you want to make sure that you got your code exactly right. Notice the colon here, the semicolon here. If you mess up at all with this code and you have a typo, you will get an error. So you don't want that to happen. So I'm going to save this. Okay, and so let's explain what's happening here. We're saying, okay, if this particular sidebar called sidebar one, if that is activated in the admin area, then we show this code. If we don't activate it, we just skip all this. Don't even show this code. The if logic says, okay, if that's not actually true, this sidebar is not active, we do not inject this HTML in here. Okay, so I'm going to save this now. And we added this to our home page. So if I go to our website and go to the home page, and I can do that just by taking everything off of the URL here and hitting enter. We're not going to see anything added here. We don't see our sidebar added. We have to go over to our admin area, make sure you're in the widgets section, and add something here. We'll just add something like categories. I'll drag that over here, and then we'll hit save. We haven't added any custom categories yet. I'll just hit save. And then if I go over here and refresh, there, now this categories widget is showing up right there. So there we go. We just learned how to display widgets and how to kind of drag and drop the functionality from over here in the admin section into our sidebar. Okay, so that's basically how it works. And we can add as many of these things as we want as long as they're actually set up in our theme. And when you install custom plugins, sometimes plugins will utilize this stuff. And like I said, some plugins might have a chat box. Uh, some plugins might have something else altogether, like video chat or text messaging or just any kind of functionality, e-commerce. You can really put anything inside of these sidebars, uh, and it just gives you added functionality um, in the form of a widget. Okay, so this is how we display it. We're going to move this later, but I just want to show you that this is how we display it. And again, just to recap, we're saying if sidebar one is active. Where did that name sidebar one come from? 
It came from our functions file where we said, hey, we're going to register a new sidebar and we're going to give it the name sidebar one right there. And so once we added this chunk of code and saved it, and then we added a, a little widget inside of our sidebar, we could now see it show up right here. So there we go. We've just learned how to display sidebars after we register them to WordPress.